Welcome back to Extended Play at Shiny Entertainment in Laguna Beach, California. Now, normally when you think of role-playing games, you would think PC or PlayStation, because the N64 isn't really known for RPGs, possibly because the cartridge format just isn't big enough to hold all that data. Now, Japanese developer Quest and publisher Atlas have brought us Ogre Battle 64. Here's an RPG that packs a whole lot of gameplay into only 35 megs. <laughs> As most N64 owners know, RPGs are a rare commodity in the system's library. Ogre Battle 64, person of lordly caliber, attempts to fill the gap. Any self-respecting strategy RPG needs an epic story filled with political intrigue, kingdom-wide upheaval, clashing armies, and spellbinding sorcery twists. Ogre Battle 64 delivers all of these. When in battle, input is limited to strategy choices such as attack leader or attack strongest. While this style of play can have its disadvantages, the AI's ability to choose targets more than makes up for it. The real strategy of Ogre Battle 64 comes from preparation, not in-battle tactics. The massive organizational screen allows you to juggle soldiers between units, change equipment for individuals, change character classes, and shift a unit's formation, and more. Visually, Ogre Battle 64 may disappoint those who demand a large helping of 3D eye candy in their games. The graphics are not ugly by any means, but polygons are few and far between. For N64 owners craving strategy fare or for fans of the RPG genre looking for something rarely seen these days, Ogre Battle 64 is a fine choice. Extended play gives Ogre Battle 64, person of lordly caliber, a 3 out of 5. Speaking of ogres, we've got a great summoner video on our website, so come by and check that out. You know, it's always fun to be a pirate, whether you're the bumbling Guybrush Threepwood or the very cute Tron Bone. Now, though, let's take a trip to the briny deep and see what happens when you get to be a pirate in one of three different ways. Here's Sea Dogs. Arr! I'd watch the tall ships from the quay and dream of distant lands and foreign seas. I always knew what day I'd be a captain. In addition to role-playing and strategy, Sea Dogs is also a third-person shooter-style game that sets you adrift on the high seas. But fate decided otherwise. It might have been better served if it had stuck to one, or at the most, two types of gameplay. While the three-in-one idea is admirable, it doesn't quite work. In the third-person perspective, control of your character is sluggish. Movements seem to be delayed, so that if you move your character forward, you move a split second later than you'd expect. Sea Dogs uses the traditional adventure game style, in which dialogue and puzzle solving are key, though it discards voice dialogue for readable text, which pulls you out of the immersive experience. In battle, you overtake and board other ships, the goal is to ransack your enemy's treasure and bring it back to the towns for trade. Handling the different elements of gameplay can be tricky. There's a lot to absorb. Ship types, combat controls, boarding and ransacking enemies, not to mention keeping your crew happy. If you're not a good captain, seafaring can be a powder keg of power struggles and mutiny. Overall, the game misses the target, but comes just close enough to avoid being a bust. Extended Play gives Sea Dogs a 3 out of 5. Coming up on Extended Play, Anton Jameson, star of the Golden State Warriors, gives us his tips on how to play NBA Live 2001.